And joining us on the debate uh, this evening is Priya Chetty Rajgopal. She is CXO Search Consultant, live from Bengaluru. Srinivas Alavilli, who is the Coordinator of Citizens for Bengaluru. Bijan Mishra, Consumer Policy Expert and uh, Founder Consumer here as a Citizen Voice, live from Delhi. T. Prabhakar, who is the former chairperson of the KSRTC, which is uh, the Karnataka State Road Transport Corporation, also live from Bengaluru this evening on the news hour. For the flyover this evening, fighting for the government is Kavita Reddy, who is an activist, live from Bengaluru. C. Rajaresh Shekharan, who is an advocate from the Madras High Court, joining us live from Chennai. Mahesh Singh, who was on the show last evening, MD Altavon, live from Bengaluru, and Vivek Menon, who is uh, a member of BVG and also advisor to the state government on infrastructure, who, which means, of course, he will bat for the VVIP flyover. But my first question is to Kavita Reddy, who leans towards the Congress party and who is for the VVIP flyover. Kavita, one of the responses we got from the very controversial KJ George, the minister in uh, Bengaluru, was that uh, we are doing this fly flyover, we are erecting it mainly because uh, it was a part of our manifesto. It was also on your manifesto that you will take care of farmers. Over 1,000 farmers have died from March 2015 to April 2016. Your cost of the flyover has gone up from 1,100 crore rupees to 1,800 crore rupees. Why don't you spend all of this money on farmers instead of a flyover that your city doesn't even want? Uh, it, is, it is unfortunate that you are linking two uh, different issues. Uh, firstly, that you know both are it's part both of are the important. I think I'm just that arguing is on fact. Taking ta no, no, no. Let me let me finish. Yeah, yeah. Don't Go ahead. interrupt when I am speaking. Just give me a minute. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, the uh, the flyover was was announced in the 2014-15 budget. Yes. So it is on. Uh, I think point number 343 of the state budget. It was very clearly announced that this flyover was required, and this is not the flyover which is which is come out of. Uh, uh, you know, from nowhere, it was it was happening from 2010. Small doubt. Kavita, That's small when doubt. the the first uh, Kavita, small doubt. How much did you how much did you allocate for the, the flyover? How much did you allocate for the flyover back then? Small doubt. Small question. Uh, in 2014-15, I think it was about 1,200 uh, crores was the allocation it's for that flyover. Crore. It was 1,100 crore. crore. In 15, one year, it's yeah. gone up 600 Two. crore. Yeah, listen, I mean, you're mixing. Again, you're coming to another point, which which I'll, I'll also explain that. See, these rates which has been quoted are as per the P, current PWD SR rates. So let's make that clear. And there is also a escalation cost of manpower which will be there. The escalation cost of fabrication, service tax, no, all that will be the there. Drop in steel so these prices. rates which is being quoted, let me finish, like let me finish. These if rates which are being quoted like are clearly as per the SR Kavita rate, ready. which can be verified, ready, which can second. be verified from your channel itself. Yeah, Kavita Reddy, if you're going to quote things like the rise in manpower costs, then you can also look at the drop drop in steel prices worldwide. I mean, let's not get into these really... Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. There the is no denial is of, about it. There was a but certain there is allocation. A, there is an increase that in the fuel price. Budget a lot of other prices also crores. have gone up. Yeah. They, they, a lot of other prices also have gone up. So you cannot say that there is there no is price rise. Okay, it is only you. steel which is going to get used. There is a lot of other th material which is going to get used. Manpower cost has gone up. From the last one, one and a half year, manpower cost has gone up. And these are not ordinary laborers you will look at. You, This will be all skilled workers where the costs are okay. much higher. Okay, you've made a, so you also made a... have to consider that. Just don't banish it as saying that, you know, this is not... No, we won't banish right it. We won't this banish is wrong kind. So let's won't... look at the merit. No, yeah. no, let's look at the merits. Yeah, no, no. I, yeah, let's Kavita, look at the merits. Your we'll point is... We'll come to that. No, come to that. Merit? We'll come to that. We'll come to that. What is I, the merit? You know, yeah. yeah, we'll come to that. You but spoke about the money aspect of it. In fact, we'll talk about it over the course of the next one hour. We're also taking some callers live on the show. So our lines are open. Mostly our viewers from Bengaluru are also calling, calling in. In fact, from last yeah. evening, we've been getting a lot of calls. So we'll take some of those voices on the show as well. But... Uh, you know, let me put this question to Vivek Menon, who's advisor to the state government on infrastructure. Vivek, have you followed all the norms? Do you have all the clearances in place yeah, before yeah. going ahead with this project? So maybe, okay, let me put this in perspective, Niranjan. I think there's a lot that's being said that is actually, you know, uh, you know, to demystify this whole thing, I think there's things that we really need to know. One of the things is the fact that there is the need for the flyover. 
The fact of the matter is there's a huge amount of congestion along the corridor mm -hmm. and this is an absolute necessity. Right now, when we look at the larger transportation, the, the comprehensive transportation no, mobility plan. No, one second. That we just have, before you move further on that, Vivek, I would like to understand the point that, that you made a little part further. Of a larger, You're saying it's an absolute okay. necessity. Help us understand. Okay. Based on what? No, let me let me. Who come has in here. concluded this? Based on which study has it been concluded okay. that this so particular it's based on the volume. was okay. the necessity? So, so right. Okay, so basically there have been studies, traffic studies that have Can already I? been done. In fact, so much so that last week we actually did a study where a TV channel, a TV channel went, you, went along the same corridor. It took them 43 minutes to go through seven kilometers. So there's a savings of about 30 minutes along that corridor. Now with one lakh vehicles that use that corridor, the average savings per year is going to be about 300 crores. So there is an absolute necessity. Now the other thing is that it's been proven no, that the flyovers, the elevated corridors actually save lives. On the Hosu Road, there were 81 fatalities in 2006. Vivek. And after the flyover came Vivek. up, the fatalities have gone down to 19. Vivek, that's one side of the so story. So there's obviously a loss of life that has to be taken Vivek, into consideration. that's one side of the story, Vivek. Right? So let's look at this. Vivek, that's yes, one side is. of the story. And the bottom line is, that's one side yes, of the story. Yes, it is, that's, absolutely. But yeah, it's the, because you will, you will fight the for the flyover. It's the important side of because, the story when you think about it. Yeah, you will fight for it because you're, you're also advising the government on infrastructure. Of course, you will because fight of what? for it. You have your reasons. Okay. I want to ask Priya Chetty, Priya Chetty, Raj Gopal. Not that. No, 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 no absolutely you said, not. No, you say you also give me, said... Give me, give me a, give me a no, second to you, speak. You also, said, you also said it is an absolute necessity. If, if, if yes, why is the entire city up in arms against this one project i started off by asking you one question i asked mm -hmm. you if you had all your clearances so, in place and i was expecting right. you to there say no i was expecting you to say there no are all the and be honest now about for a project it. like this yeah no, priya chetty no, there are yeah priya chetty no, will please, take you on please, and you can respond there are aspects that, 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 that probably yeah. have been misconstrued people have been talking okay they have been talking about an environmental impact assessment and unfortunately, there's not a complete environmental impact assessment to it. But the thing is, we've always maintained that we want to reduce the impact or the you ecological still impact to by my question. not just cutting Vivek, down trees, but by Vivek, you're still not answering them. my question. If you look at it, one lakh vehicles, one lakh Have vehicles. Have you got the clearances, Vivek? Vivek, you still See, haven't given me that I'm not, I'm not going to comment on the I'll tell government's you. Okay, position. I'll tell you the truth. Okay, okay I'll tell you. I was just, Vivek, it's I was... It's very I was, easy for us to get mired in controversy. Yeah. No, no, exactly. I don't expect yeah, you ahead. to say that. I don't People expect you to say that. People have been asking for a social impact assessment. I'm not... A social not, impact assessment doesn't have to be done. I don't expect you to say... I don't it expect doesn't you have to, say, to be done. An environmental impact assessment has to be done. Vivek, yes. let's not deflect from the point. I asked you if you had all your clearances. I'm not arguing for a political party. I'm going to quote... KJ George, I'm going to quote KJ George, a very senior and a very controversial minister. We okay. spoke to him today about this sure. project. The question asked to him, mm -hmm. shouldn't it be first, you know, the other way okay. around to first take clearances and then the cabinet approves? We asked him if all the appropriate clearances were in place for the project. His answer, the state mm -hmm. government will, will take all clearances. So here you are as a state government pushing through with the project you have people up in arms over 40,000 people you've lied to the people of Karnataka saying you have everyone on board the chief minister comes and says 73% of Bangalore is on that's board that's very wrong when I you've think, spoken to I think the me know you have told can we know what are the Priya clearances Chetty. that have not no. been taken okay. please I want Priya Chetty 40,000 people don't yeah. represent yeah, okay. don't represent not to 299 people. people in Bangalore not, not to, no. to, not I to 299 people yeah. lies uh, uh, Nori is playing exactly. into the hands no I think before we go to Priya Chetty Kavita you were asking a question the BDA has asking us what are the clearances that have not the, been taken the, ask your chief minister that ask KJ George the that PR these are the two people who have been talking project. about it and KJ George and and Ranjan just you know, the the has told our reporter that we will get the clearances so don't ask us ask KJ George which clearances have not been sought because they haven't okay Priya Chetty please if you are making an allegation, I would like to know what are the I'm clearances not, that is not... No, we are quoting KJ George. The we are quoting what KJ George is explaining. There is no requirement, is no requirement of this... Uh, Kavita, please, please listen. Uh, please, if you listen, if you listen to what I am saying, perhaps you will understand the point I am making. There are some very we are quoting what KJ George said to our reporter today. When the reporter asked if all the clearances have been sought or got, his response was that we will get all the clearances. We are quoting him. We are not making any allegation. We are in fact asking the government, have all the clearances been sought? Priya Chetty, please. Priya Chetty Rajgopal. 
Thank you. Very clearly, uh, certainly there have been no real due process followed. I mean, there's a fault with the project, the process, and perhaps the people impact. But on the process itself, let me clearly tell you that you, you start from the beginning, whether it is in terms of public consultation or you talk about uh, the, the approval which is required from the MTC, which is the Metropolitan Planning Commission, which is mandated and constituted to be able to look at projects like this. So their permission is absolutely required to proceed, has not been done. The Karnataka uh, Town and Planning Council, not been done. Environmental, I think you can just forget about it because that's just not been looked at at all. There are so many I think areas to this, apart from the obvious issue of public consult, I mean that has been the biggest sham and probably the biggest reason why people have come forward to really register their protest and their major, major concern on this project and it is, seems to be for good reason because the more you ask, the more information that's really not very good for the project comes out of the closet. Yeah. yeah, you know the fact that the the, the project has been much is exactly. Much Priya, than it should be Priya, you you're, you're making a point. I think you got it spot on. Yes. You got it spot on because the clearances. And, and I want to bring in Kavita here. Kavita, you said what clearances haven't haven't been taken or weren't taken in the first place? Where where were ad hoc decisions taken? I want to tell you, Kavita. You asked us a straightforward question. Here's a straightforward answer. Kavita Reddy, was a district or metropolitan planning committee approached with the proposal of the BBMP? Our information was it wasn't. No. Was the proposal positioned in front of no. public at a stage of conceptualization, finalization or budgeting or were all of these decisions taken ad hoc by the cabinet? It was taken no. ad hoc. We have reason to believe no, that because let me clarify we, that. we have let reason me to believe because that. you only you had a half bay the, consultation. You please read the statement. Half bay consultation, two hundred and ninety nine responses. BDA. Your feedback was two hundred and ninety nine no, responses. You have asked the question, let me give you the answer. Yeah, please go ahead. check out the BDA, the, the BDA note which was put out when this issue came up, BDA has put out a note clarifying every single point. All these points which Priya has mentioned were also asked in that very uh, this thing questionnaire and in the, all that question in that questionnaire all the points were answered including the social assessment including the need for uh, for no. who, who needs to approve, who don't have to approve, so why are 42, including the environment people clearance, out on the streets? Because environment clearance was required, there must be a not reason. required as per the section there must be a reason of for the notification by government of India to be itself. out on the streets and as Priya said the biggest sham in all of no, this has me, been this, no, let, this let proposal me, let or me, this proposed uh, theory you know, Tina, that public me. opinion is with this project because 299 people that sample does uh, no, not make me, public let opinion. Me. Tina, let me answer your question. People is nothing. Okay. No, I'm let simply me, asking you, Kavita, that that if you disaster, feel that everything was done, no, 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 let, me, let me answer you that question. The due processes were followed. Why are there 42,000 plus people out on the streets? If I can just jump in. You know, I think the issue really is. Can I answer that question? Can I answer that question, please? Okay, let Kavita respond very quickly and then we are back to you. On the public consultation. All right. No, no, let me finish on that public consultation part. I will give you an example. When the plastic the ban notification was put out for almost three months, were not the entire of Karnataka, on the only 1,000 people responded. The biggest responded. sham of a public consultation so was with 1,000 people, the, the plastic ban happened and it was a statewide ban which happened. Then, then also people did not respond. If people did not respond, doesn't mean the, law, the, the process was not followed. I'm sorry. Why did people have to wake up late? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Allow people wake up late. What are you talking about, ma'am? to jump in. I'm sorry, ma'am. You're talking about something else. Enna Srinivas uh, Alawalli. Srinivas Alawalli. Were appropriate. Thank you. Thank you. She speaks thank about clearances. She speaks about clearances. Thank you. 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 There were a hundred and ninety times now for listening to it. the voice of citizens Absolutely. of today, Bengaluru. If you look at tender Thank shows, you times now. If you look at what is happening in Bengaluru is unprecedented. People in Bengaluru are suffering for a long time with this unprecedented growth and an absolute failure of our governments, Congress, BJP, JDS, you name it. They have all failed miserably in managing the growth that the city has. And this is the reason why in the history of independent India, perhaps, I am not overstating hopefully, in an urban uh, setting, in a metropolitan city like Bengaluru, which is the most happening city, we are all proud of Bengaluru, there is a lot of people 
people that are extremely proud of the city and people want to be here from Assam to Kerala. Everybody want to make Bengaluru their home. They are they are frustrated. Traffic is killing us every single day. Every decision we make is based on traffic. Do you want to go to a a, a party? Do you want to go yeah. uh, to a library? But you know, you think about traffic first. That, that, that and is this is the reason. This is the reason 8,000 people got on the streets. 8,000 real people, Shinivas. not Twitter handles Shinivas. or fake Twitter handles, but real people coming Shinivas. on the street. Yeah, real look at people. The, and you Shinivas. got to understand that Shinivas, there is listen no to public the argument. clearance for this project. Yeah. What clearance do you need? You need a public That's clearance. A there is no public clearance but for this project. Vivek, it's Vivek, very clear. Vivek and Srinivas. Vivek and Srinivas. What is the no, argument of no. Kavita? One second. What there is the are, argument of Kavita? Here? She said, "How are people yes. supposed to know that there's a survey? Kavita's How can you expect people to respond for bogus. God's sake? The BDA, let's not get stuck BDA in technicalities here. You don't feel the point of a consultation for 48 hours. What is the point of a consultation process to feel the pulse of people? With an incorrect email address, and when we sent emails, those emails bounced. Yeah. It is an utterly, exactly. utterly failed consultation. This is a classic case of case fitting, Diranjan. You decide something. After that, you and try to bring through. in all yeah. kinds you of things. You push through with 299 right responses. Thing. Just I like think, the, the yeah, urban Vivek, expert, Vivek, Mr. Vivek. Uh, Vivek, is you want to get about. some? If we Vivek, have urban experts like yeah, Mahesh him also. running the city for Vivek 10 years, we are suffering like yeah. this. We Vivek. don't need urban experts like him. Okay, Srinivas, let them respond. Can you go and help some other cities? Mahesh Singh and Vivek Menon want to come in on this. I also want to get in some more citizen voices on the phone. You know, I Before think the biggest problem here is that Vivek people are making this very personal. Yeah. How is it personal, Vivek? Yeah. I think it's, you know, no, no personal, yeah. Yeah. don't make okay. it personal, so I think we have our own okay, point so of view, you have is, your point of view. Well, well, well if you're dropping into traffic every day and government spends 1800 crores, okay, one person, one person at a time. 1800 crores of our money, Srinivas, Srinivas, let Vivek make his point, Srinivas, let Vivek make his point. That's right, it's our money too. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's Srinivas, one second, at the end of the day, when tender show was proposed, when tender show was proposed, there were 198 cooperators against Tendershore. And today when you look at it, Tendershore is one of the best programs here in Bangalore that is changing the way of urban transportation happens. Urban streets are designed. So there's always going to be public protest. There's always going to be people for and against the proposition. But never on the this scale. To understand here is do we Vivek, have a you have, problem? Vivek, you're a citizen of Bengaluru. I'm sure even you'll acknowledge. I'm sure even you'll acknowledge that there is. Have you seen a public protest I'm sure, for, yes, for, I'm sure for, you have for a flyover, absolutely. for a road? Srinivas, one second. Srinivas, one second. For a road where 8,000 people are standing on the streets. One second, one second. You want to feel a pulse? Okay, Srinivas, 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 let him speak. Srinivas, one second. Srinivas, one second. Use that okay, Srinivas and Vivek, one second. Let's. You want to feel the pulse of Bengaluru? You want to feel the pulse of Bengaluru? Let's speak to some people. Of, no, no, let's speak to some Bengalurians. Let's speak to some people who are calling us in, into our studios. Let's speak to them and give you a pulse of what people feel about this. Mahesh, our first viewer from Bengaluru. Yes, Mahesh, what's the message you want to send out to those who are backing this VVIP flyover? Yeah, good evening. Yeah, See, my, good evening, my question Mahesh. is to both the parties, one representative, Mr. Vivek, uh, who is uh, the advisor to government on infrastructure, and other two activists. Sir, this particular issue has uh, got attention only because this stretch is on a VIP corridor between the airport and the Vidan Sauda. Hmm. But has anybody really thought, the brought over the activists, have they ever come across about 8 kilometers away from Hebel? We have got a place called Tin Factory and uh, Kerpuram. Exactly. Where 12 years back, a mammoth white elephant mm -hmm. cable chair bridge was constructed. Yes. Mahesh, do you what? Mahesh? I want, I want to only ask one question. Right. Yeah. Today, Absolutely. you see that particular Kerpuram bridge, there so, are only two yeah. mouths to that. Uh -huh. What make his activists point? done? Has any activist in the last three, four years come and That's made right. these kind of dharnas to ease the public, the general public's problems which they are facing daily? Absolutely. Okay, Vivek. So, let Vivek. me put this... One second, yeah. one second. Let's before another, yeah, so before Mahesh, you respond, let me put this in you respond you. Yes. Vivek, let's, 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 in let's get in another caller. Let's take a couple caller. of them. Girish is with us on the phone okay. now. Yes, Girish. Yeah, good evening, uh, okay. Girish. Okay. Uh, speaking, a citizen of Bangalore. Okay. Hi, Girish. Uh, Go ahead. First of yeah, first of all, thanks to Times Now for uh, covering this uh, uh, very important aspect of Bangalore traffic and the uh, flyover project. As a citizen, I feel the sheer waste of uh, uh, money at this point of time and suddenly from where this has come out, we don't know. The entire Bangalore city is congested with severe traffic all over the place and most of the places you can just clear off by making the proper tar road, covering the potholes, 
that itself will decongest traffic. I am not sure why this specific interest is only the Thebal flyover. Uh, yeah. And second point that I want to make is, okay. we always think that flyover is only solution no, okay. for decongestion of traffic, and we have consistently failed in providing a solution with flyover. Why not think of some other aspect? Why not think of something else? Okay, fine. We got your and, point, uh, Girish. Thank, thank you for calling in. We're going to put that question yeah. to uh, Vivek so, and so, uh, to so Mahesh in just a minute. Vivek, before right. you okay. before you respond, yeah. Vivek, so, because the okay. caller there brought up the issue yeah, of budget, I just want okay. to throw some okay. numbers okay. here. Okay. Such as this allocation of resources, look at how disproportionate it is. The okay. cost of this one flyover, nearly 1800 crore, is just marginally mm -hmm. lesser than the budgetary allocation for 2016-17 for multiple village water supply schemes. For example, this one flyover, 1800 crore, is almost half of the total state budgetary allocation for again 2016-17 for the development of rural roads in all of Karnataka. This one flyover, 1800 crore, more than half total state budgetary allocation sure. for the development of state highways and upgradation of major roads. Wouldn't this money be better spent in all these areas, making all these roads Filling sure. maybe even the potholes of Bengaluru absolutely. itself, so, where people are dying, right. yeah, rather Let than me. this seven-kilometer sure. stretch. Mahesh and Vivek, absolutely. please. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, okay. So let me put this in perspective for you. Bangalore is an international city, right. and most of the most of most of Karnataka's budget actually comes from Bangalore. Okay, most of the IT companies over here contribute over eighty percent of what the Karnataka's budget itself is, fifty-five thousand crores. Now, obviously, there has to be prioritization in terms of what we do, right? One of the biggest problems here in Bangalore is the traffic, right? Now, this particular flyover is part of a larger mobility program that actually is going to upgrade the entire outer ring road as well as provide north-south and east-west connectivity across the city. I'm Two sorry, I'm corridors. sorry, Vivek. This Vivek. is just one part of Vivek. that that's Vivek. actually being Vivek. Vivek. expedited Vivek. because there is a problem. Hold uh, on. I mean, give, no, no, give no, no. me a chance to speak. The other Vivek, thing, the other thing is the fact all along, Vivek. the person who this talked about Kiyapura, the we have to go to high to command to Delhi also. directly from Vidhan South. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm just responding. The only no, it's corridor not. is power corridor. Absolutely this is power not. Let me put this. You know, Vivek, one power center to Vivek another is power this center. flyover going it's to even allow two wheelers? No, no people it's who only suffer. for cars, yeah. right? You speak about big numbers. numbers. No two wheelers. It, it, it's going yes, to, how is no, this going is, to be something that's going to help the allowed. masses? It's in only fact, going to be for those who so can afford so cars. Okay, we'll come back to you on this point. We need to bring the others in yeah. who have not had a chance can to we, speak so far. Vijan Mishra. Vijan Mishra, I'm coming to you on this. The Can government of Karnataka, Vijay Mishra, says that because this Can has been approved by the cabinet, now it is going to happen. This is also something that KJ George has said to our reporter today. Because it's approved by the cabinet, what happens? Is it etched in stone? Does the sentiment of the, the citizen not count for anything? We elect our representatives so that they can make decisions. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, but not to bulldoze. This is a vibrant democracy. Vivek, I asked the question to Bijan Mishra, right please. Now. Yeah, so Vivek, let Bijan speak. Very, very, I'm very encouraged. Vivek, let us speak. I'm very encouraged by Vivek. the fact that so many people have actually come out. Yeah, Vivek, right? And Vivek, that's the beauty of democracy because you can't bulldoze absolutely. the citizen. Let, let, let yeah, Bijan Mishra speak. Let Bijan Mishra speak. Let's pay some attention. If you are really an advisor and a member of Vijan Group, let Bijan say sure. I will give you. I'll give you an opportunity. Yes, I will. I will. No, let Bijan speak. But don't do the discussion. Let's talk about what's right. Yeah, we will talk about that. Bijan, please go ahead. Yeah, okay, please. can I speak now? Yeah, yes, Bijan, go ahead. Speak now. Bijan, can we use this money to build 400 yeah, to 500 yeah, other flyovers and fill potholes instead? Absolutely. You see, what I want to say, I heard some panel members talking that it's a priority for Bangalore. I think that there are a number of other priorities for Bangalore like, you know, uh, uh, providing free healthcare, making universal healthcare accessible, safe drinking water, ensuring that safety of the citizens are, you know, kept intact. You know, there are a number of priorities. What I feel is that the citizens have the right and they are the Maliks. The citizens are the owners. The citizens have the right to voice and the bureaucrats, of the politicians are servants. The servants yeah. cannot dictate. The servants have and, to listen to the And you heard me, John Mishra. You heard what citizens. Vivek Menon said there. And he said that these people have been so elected the, by the people to make these decisions for them. Well, not if the people are completely against and the if decision. The citizens, and if the, citizens, if the citizens are not happy yeah. and they don't want a so, project, nobody can trust it on them. 
and nobody can thrust it on okay, them. Okay, very so quickly, T. Prabhakar also. T. Prabhakar, do you agree with what Mr. Mishra is saying? What's going on right now? Do you agree, T. Prabhakar, that this may be this may be something the government has decided upon? But if the citizen is against it, they have to listen. Not allow the politicians to thrust things on them. They're just, you know. The, Mr. the unfortunate part Mr. is that Mr. Vivek, I'm a Vivek, this, to Vivek, you'll get this it. project of 2,200 crores is not at all necessary for the Bangalore. So don't get me wrong over here. Don't. Speak, Vivek, let Mr. Brush. Prabhakar speak. We'll give you an opportunity, please. Let Mr. Prabhakar speak. We've done a long thing of 812 trees. No, sure, nobody's absolutely. being personal. We're just pointing out some facts for our viewers. Mr. Prabhakar, please go ahead, sir. Yes. We are. That is a serious issue which the government has to. Mr. Prabhakar, go ahead. To see, the cost of the 2,000... Two hello, listen to me, please. 2,200 crores project is not at all necessary as I know. When the BDA doesn't have money to pay for the one of the victim, she lost her house. They had only 25 lakhs they have paid out of 4 crore rupees. Where do they have money of 2,200 crores in the Bangalore? The BDA. Where is the money? 812 trees if you cut. Approximately about two degrees, you know, our temperature will rise. Now I, I, itself we are suffering. We have reached up to 40, 42 degrees Fahrenheit over here. And also, the, 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 they say 2,000 crore rupees have already spent for the social forestry. What is the result? Result is zero. Yeah. See, the entire, the entire Bangalore city will be Point. defaced of all these so, things. Okay. So, you see, given One second, Vivek. to the public opinion also. See, we must also see that you what is the pleasant point and the minus points of the whole thing. Government should be transparent. The government is not transparent. They are adamant. Just because when KJ George was removed as the minister, nothing was there. Once he is reappointed as a minister, again the steel bridge yes. came. Yes, point taken, Mr. Prabhakar. Why? Let what me bring there? in, let me bring Why? in. It was see, Raj Shekharan, at this point, Mr. There Prabhakar, you, you, you made the right points. You spoke for the citizen of Bengaluru and the 40,000 people who have been coming out in the streets petitioning against this project. Mahesh, I am coming to you next, but let me bring in, see, Raja Shekharan. Mr. Right. Raja Shekharan, yes. one question for you, sir. Because you are sitting in Chennai and you are backing this flyover. You are saying, let this flyover go ahead. Yes. Mr. Raja Shekharan, for all our viewers from Bengaluru, especially who are looking at uh, this debate very closely, they will also remember and for the Congress party and Kavita Reddy who are here on the program, Rahul Gandhi, the Congress Vice President in Bengaluru, speaking at the city's Mount Carmel College. What did he say, sir? He said, my vision for India is what people of India want. Discuss with people what they want. See, Raja Shekharan. Are 299 people bigger than the 42,000 people who do not want this flyover? As per Rahul Gandhi, you should talk to the people first. Not say, I am the cabinet, I have decided to push ahead, it's my duty to push ahead, I will push ahead. Rajashekar, on your, your point of view, and we'll come back uh, to our other viewers. Niranjan, say, being an optimistic citizen of Chennai and uh, always visiting Bangalore, let, let me be straight and simple. Instead of not being with a selective amnesia mind, saying that activists don't like this project and some, some like it, that is not my point. Some, see, the city is growing. Chennai city is growing, Bangalore city is growing and the IT corridor is there. People are uh, coming and they want to settle in ba Bengaluru city. All this you should take, uh, take it in uh, your uh, point and you should w work towards the growth of the city and the interest of the people, yeah. majority people. What's uh, your point? Uh, just 8,000 people are not the uh, total no, population. No, no, of no, course, I respect the sentiments of the activists. That but doesn't mean they are only the reflection of the majority people of the state and the city. Mr. Raji See, we should go by the merit of the issue. Yeah, merit now, of the issue, Mr. Raji Shekharan. The state government to... Of course they Yeah, are. let me, let me finish. You have asked me a question. You need to See, start. I, I am not going against the sentiments yeah. of any 30 people. Seconds. 30 but seconds. I just yeah. want 30 to quickly. say yeah. that this seconds. project was commissioned and by the BJP Mishra. government in 2010. Direction. Now it is more politics than being honest. There is no honesty among politicians. They are only in involving okay, their yeah, political no, no, problems. Yeah, Raja Shekharan, come to the point. Yeah, come to the point. Raja Shekharan, come to the point. Raja Shekharan, come to the point. Raja Shekharan, come to the point. Nobody is inter the worried about is, the traffic, the growing traffic and the growing no, traffic. No, Raja Shekharan, see Raja Shekharan, you are talking about it was 2,000 activities. Let us be pragmatic. Let us be pragmatic. One second, gentlemen, allow me to speak. 
you're saying they don't represent the people of Bengaluru, but 73% of 299 people does not represent the people of Bengaluru either. Bijan Mishra, you wanted to make a Thank point you, on that, Thank and you, then we bring in Mahesh. Yeah, I, I, I am saying that the people who have come on the streets, they represent us. They represent the citizens, the sentiments of Bangalore. When people come out on the streets, it is for the government to listen to them. And they have to listen to them. And if they don't want to listen to them, then they have to face the consequences. And I want to tell it very clear sir, that it, it reality, cannot sir, be it that people a film. will trust you don't, their you don't views. Direct a movie. They will it trust reality. on citizens. You should take the sentiments of others this also. This is not required. This is not a priority. Who are this is not a priority for Bangalore. Supporting. This is not a priority for Bangalore. The priority for Bangalore is free health care. The priority for Bangalore no, the is good education. The priority the priority take care of the priority. Too. It is not we. Bijan and Rajeshekaran. I'm sure you know Rajeshekaran, you said you keep travelling to Bengaluru very often. The priority is not 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 VIP flyover. One second. Exactly. No, Rajeshekaran says I travel to Bengaluru very often. I'd like Bangalore to be a traffic free city. Mr. Rajeshekaran sitting in Chennai or saying that I can tell you that if I what, want a traffic-free Bengaluru, I'd today. like to have one second, one second. In ta with thousand eight hundred crore rupees, you can build at least four hundred to five hundred smaller flyovers. Why don't you build four hundred to five hundred smaller flyovers and fix the ten thousand plus potholes that you already have with that kind of money and and go ahead with smaller projects to ease traffic than be adamant about one. There's something wrong with this program. Over 50 lakh There's something wrong with this project. Listen, that is a very flawed model of trying to just use the bus. The average speed of a bus on Bangalore Street is 8 kilometers per hour. At the same time and over each other, no one will be able to hear anybody else. Kavita, Kavita. Kavita and Vivek, Kavita and Vivek, Kavita and Vivek. Yeah, I, Kavita and Vivek, I want you to come in. Kavita and Vivek, I want you to come in. Yeah, you want stand you want yeah. people okay. are dying. Okay. okay so this kavita give me a second kavita or vivek non accessibility yeah. of okay. health care anyone no, anyone please please don't speak over each other who yeah. use 10000 people die in karnataka one second there are okay there are 50 lakh people one second please hold on one second let's talk about mobility right now okay there are 50 lakh people who use public transport. They use 6,500 buses across the city to commute. Now, the average speed of a bus in Bangalore is 8 kilometers per hour. So, we are addressing the mass transit issue over here. Buses are going to be using this elevated corridor. If we can improve that speed from 8 kilometers per hour to maybe even 25 to 30 kilometers per hour, 50 lakh people will be served. So, we are not looking at this in isolation. Let's look at this as a holistic solution. Now, yes. No, no, one second, Vivek. I understand your dialogue. Bangalore. Vivek, I understand your dilemma. Yeah, yeah, Vivek, I understand your dilemma. No, one second. Talk to the 62. No, no, thing is, no, no, one second. Vivek, 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 don't go ballistic. Don't go ballistic on the show, Vivek. Vivek, don't go ballistic on the show. I know. Yeah, let's also bring in Mahesh. Mahesh, I want you to. Mahesh, I'm going to direct a few. I'm not. I'm not. I'm already explaining. No, I know your dilemma. You have to bat for the project. Vivek, Vivek, I know your dilemma. You have to bat for the project. Why don't you listen to some some citizens? No, no, I'm calling us into Bengaluru. Batting for the. Okay, I'm Nagaraj is calling us in from Bengaluru. Oh, Nagaraj, Nagaraj, your your question to those defending the flyover, Nagaraj. Yeah, my question is vague, right? So you talked about environment Im impact analysis, social impact analysis, and infrastructure impact analysis. If you look at all the analysis, if at all has been done, you might as well know it's not going to help anyone. <coughs> Okay. It's easy I to agree. easy to get, I you know, yeah. use the bigger words like holistic so view. Exactly. In no, one second, but Vivek, 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 please, Vivek, at least allow the gentleman uh -huh. sitting right yeah. next yeah. to you yeah. the courtesy of getting a word in. Okay. So I'm going to put this question to Mahesh. I'm quite. Now, Mahesh, what the caller here just Absolutely. said is yeah, an, sure. again a very important point. And yeah. you were talking earlier about how uh, this is going to be the solution for some of the traffic woes of Bengaluru. I come back to you, Mahesh, with the question that we started with. Based on what? When an RTI was filed, no information was given. What study has been conducted that has conclusively proven that this flyover is going to solve traffic woes of Bengaluru? Mahesh, please. So, if you go through the detailed project report, that is DPR, which has been put out by BDA, you, see, you find that there is about 8 to 10 lakh people using this road. 
in the peak hours the traffic uh, 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 the you get stuck in the traffic for hogwash. about 45 minutes to 1 hour and the kind of pollution that it is creating is will increase the uh, temperature by about 2 to 4 degrees and steel is, is going to bring it down what it is going to yeah. cause and steel is going to bring it down trees. as opposed I'm not saying, to 800 i'm not saying trees. that we should cut those trees we should try and save those trees oh absolutely No yes yes definitely the kind of uh, pollution Gina, you should Gina, you should send no, your own people no uh, to check it uh, during the peak hours the pollution is very 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 high Exactly, but that's uh, Srinivas. You want to come in on that because this is counterproductive. So what yeah, you're talking about no pollution way, and 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 you, you know raised temperatures. Yeah, Srinivas. Thank you for giving me an opportunity, yeah, thank you me an opportunity no, to put. Thank you for giving me an opportunity. Uh, there is no way anyone who has any common sense, forget urban planning expertise, common sense can agree that 1800 crore white elephant that will transport Stop people from you know one Please. power center vidhan sauda to another power center delhi is going to help bangalore's traffic problem it's absolutely rubbish what will help bangalore is a real committed plan with conviction about commuter rail which chennai has the gentleman from chennai is giving us lot of gyan about bangalore traffic but chennai had a commuter rail for many years on top of it they are building metro and that is why you don't see the traffic condition in chennai here we don't have a commuter rail at all even yeah, though there is they have any better ideas than some for you know what vivek says vivek if they have any better ideas we cannot ideas for the we cannot ideas we cannot put our government to yeah whether it's okay Okay, I will put this point to you, Kavita. And what priorities are we talking about? I take Srinivas's point to Kavita. To I take Srinivas's point to Kavita. Yeah. You know, Kavita. Kavita. What Srinivas uh, is saying Niren, is not. No, I, one second, I, Kavita. One second, Kavita. One on second. This. One second. Take my question and you can answer. My yeah. question to you. Yeah. Why is everyone batting for one flyover when you know Bangalore has a bigger problem and the problem cannot be solved with one flyover when all of you are jumping onto that flyover and someone like Vivek I know his dilemma he will have to bat for the flyover so do you but you have he one of his arguments was you have an elevated structure the number of fatalities will automatically decrease you need a 6.7 kilometer flyover to ensure that a busy stretch is decongested you tell me something There were ten thousand seven hundred pothole deaths yes. in Bengaluru. Ten thousand so, so, so seven hundred fatalities in Bengaluru as far as yes, pothole deaths are concerned. Talk to the people. You spoke about elevated road. Okay, you want elevated road stretch. Vivek, you wanted elevated road. You want elevated road. Build four hundred five hundred one smaller flyovers. Can I make a point? Yeah, Kavita, go take that point. Take that point, Kavita. Hold on one second. One second. See, Niranjan, this this fixing of this. I know smaller smaller flyovers doesn't work we have seen that earlier it is not working it doesn't work in silk road and couple of places it doesn't work so you need a like a, like how we have on the hosu road like how we have on the tumku road we need elevated corridor to ease the entire traffic and please understand that this flyover is not a piece meal it's part of a larger mobility plan there will there will be a peripheral not, corridor no, i'm sorry i'm sorry nobody is buying that kavita kavita nobody is buying that and the reason i'm saying that the reason i'm saying that is we all be talking about not about this white elephant yeah i'll tell you something the commuter rail cost of the entire project is kavita why don't you kavita why don't you listen to the people kavita why don't you listen to the people let's listen to sneha from bengaluru for instance who's on the phone line with us sneha what's your point to kavita and vivek what's your point to kavita and vivek sneha Well, I sure. believe that we live in a democracy, and yes. this ought to be run like a democracy. Sure. If the people are against something, then the CM needs to get up yes. and take note of it. Yes. Number one, and secondly, this is a road that is meant for the rich and famous. The common man not yeah. Much else. What common man is a a good. Mass yeah, we live in a democracy. Yeah. Sneha, stay and on the I, line. I, I, I Sneha, think, stay on the line. Yeah. Sneha, stay on the line. I want, I want Vivek to take that question. Oh, I, she said we live in that. She said that. we live in a democracy. Sneha, stay yeah, on the line. Absolutely, you, we live in a democracy. Yeah, and, the, and same democracy yes, speaking, and the same democracy where Rahul Gandhi speaking in. The same democracy where Rahul Gandhi speaking in Bengaluru yeah. said. that his vision for india is what people second. of india want discuss I, with i don't of, i don't represent rahul gandhi or the congress you, sir, party because you are batting for a congress Niranjit, project Niranjit, no, i don't represent question. rahul I, I, gandhi or yeah. no and vivek also very quickly no, just to I'm add not, to please, that what the caller was saying is that the that world is, the is moving interest. towards a more There progressive a mass transport system this in light of that is a regressive step because the more evolved developed countries of the world are moving towards better mass transit systems yes yes i do agree with you yeah
Uh, um, look at most of the Southeast Asian countries, yeah, including can Japan. I, can I, can I, which Priya, is Priya, a lot Priya, more like Priya, what India is. India has a question. Is, a, question. Yeah. a lot more like what India, India is. Is that every question coming from the audience yeah. has been Priya, intelligent, yeah. has been focused, yeah. and has been something which has raised very, very good uh, inputs from from yeah. from the government. If this is the nature of our citizens, I think we have every right to participate Absolutely. in a process that is going to I impact so. us in such a massive manner. No, no, we, Second, we haven't had a single. Caller and all of these, see, you know, absolutely. Kavita, all of these callers, you know, no, you know, Priya Chetty and Kavita and Vivek, all of these, all of these, you know, people who are calling in, our lines are open and I'm not kidding, yes. we tried opening the lines at about 6 p.m. this evening just to check the pulse of whether people are talking yep. about it. If you look at the number of tweets, we have at least, you know, close to about 5,000 tweets, close to 5,000, yes, 4,300 tweets and counting. Sure. We've been, getting calls, We've been getting calls non-stop. We've been getting calls non-stop. I think we and have people, another caller yeah, Chandan, on the line just Chandan, now. Chandan yeah. is our next and caller from Bengaluru. Why is nobody saying There's yes, we need a flyover? Chandan, Chandan is our next caller. Chandan, what's your point? Hi. Yeah, just give me one second. Hi, uh, I mean, the way the media is actually portrayed... Uh, let, let, let Chandan come in and then we'll come back Vivek. to you for clo closing yeah. comments. Yeah, yeah. Chandan. Yeah. Are you guys able to hear me? Yeah, Chandan, go ahead. Everyone can hear you. Yeah, my, question, to talk. my question is for Vivek. So, Vivek, I today uh, in a part called Yelhanka where the flyover yeah. plays a major part. That is where the ramp is going to head it out. So, every day I travel from Yelhanka through Hebal through till uh, Chalukya Circle. I travel to Electronic City. I travel to MG Road. I travel to JP Nagar where major of uh, the IT hubs are located. And it takes me every day two hours. Are you saying that by just by having an steel flyer which will start from Hebal and again it will stop at chaos, uh, stop at uh, Vashusha Circle. The traffic is you know, just piled up at Kia Circle. The Kia Circle it's, itself is blocked. Right. Even if the uh, traffic doesn't get blocked at the KR circle, it's going to get blocked at uh, town halls. Right. Its traffic is endless. Right. You have to have a sustainable and robust solution which is scalable. Now, all parts of the Bangalore, right, they are, uh, metro has been implemented in the phases. I know that you will bring in the metro, but if you have to do it 15 years, why not go ahead and do it as of now? Uh, start implementing it uh, okay. as soon as possible. Okay, okay. As Thanks for calling in. I'm going to give you 20 seconds, Vivek, because right. we are really no. just running out yeah, of time. Yeah. But please respond so, to that very quickly. And then last word absolutely. from Priya Chetty after that. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Right. So, so the larger part over here, what he mentioned, this particular flyover is part of a larger program that will go to, that's going to establish north-south and east-west connectivity. So this is going to basically ease the problems of traffic within the congested city itself. No, you're saying the because same people thing, who want to go from Koramangala up to the airport will be able to use the elevated and it will actually decongest no, the places no, below. Right. So that's the first point. The it's second thing in terms of the mass transit system, right? Mass transit has a problem with last mile connectivity. It does have a problem no, no, no. in the last mile. No, one second. That is going to basically Vivek, work Vivek, along no, with a road system, a road network, no, I'm sorry. to basically create a robust, I'm comprehensive sorry. transportation you're speaking, network. You're speaking like, like, like a typical engineer talking about this one one project and yes i understand your dilemma i'm repeating that yes. point because you're saying the same thing again and again no i am an engineer, no, an engineer. you need yes. to listen to engineers priya last word to you priya chetty last word to you, you. Rahul Gandhi. so by virtue of having driven on a road everybody is today an urban expert vivek and that's the problem vivek i'm sorry vivek, please don't bring sorry. rahul gandhi vivek, into this i'm not a congress two joe over here one second vivek one second i'm a member of the bangalore vision i'm asking you something vivek i'm trying to make my point it's not us saying it you know how how the media how the media studies the subject yeah, we've been we are studying the subject. We're placing facts in front of you. We're also running a poll the on the social media. 83% of the people want this project scrapped. Out. You may say that the 40,000 people are motivated. Yes. They may have their reasons. But 83% of the, the people on social media are not motivated. Priya Chetty, last word to you. Plan to come out. Priya Chetty, last word to you. Mr. Yes. Mr. 30 so seconds, go ahead. Democracy. And yeah, I, it's, I, it's, I, it's I, a democracy. Priya yes. Chetty, go ahead. You know, one of the things that have come up very clearly in the this project is to be the number of flaws that have come up as and when we have asked questions. It, it completely reiterates what uh, the democracy implies of people being able to participate. The government is also by the people. There have been so many concerns, and I'm so glad that you mentioned that you know, we were entitled to ask that question, Absolutely. that where and how is this 1800 crores going? We did not have a single, I don't think we've had a single resonance so far when we've asked these questions. We've been pushed away into a corner, and we've been told that, you know, really go buy in your own business. We know what's best. Mm. For the first mm -hmm. time in the history of Bangalore, I think we've had so Bangalore come together and ask some direct questions to its government. 
and for the right reasons because please understand and I need you to look at this very clearly that every time we've asked a question we've come across with one more skeleton in the closet you know an additional uh, one and a half kilometers security issues something not being taken care of and it's just well, been one well, you know, and, not and, added, and, and, and it comes created. down, yeah, so it comes down to the bottom line, the of trust. which is what we we're asking trust. here tonight. Priya, Priya, if, if, Priya, the Priya, are against against it, if there are, if there are any number of, and a significant number of citizens who are against it, then why is the government so unwilling to even discuss this project? Why is the response something as limited as the cabinet has approved it, so we're going to go ahead with it? We will give the last word to another citizen voice. We have Padma on the phone with us now. The reason the government is today shutting itself up. Last word to you, we close the debate. Vivek, the yes, citizen. Sir. Padma, is not doing this citizen first, Hi. Vivek. Padma, we can hear you. Go ahead. That's the unfortunate yeah. part Hi. about this. Uh, I flyover. want to thank uh, Times now for taking up the VVIP flyover uh, uh, issue. And uh, as uh, like many of the concerned citizens, uh, I'm also against this flyover. The main reason is that uh, most of Bangalore citizens are suffering pulmonary diseases because of ri uh, rising pollution and cutting of trees. And uh, right now the citizens have reached the breaking point. We don't it. want any more trees to be cut. And yeah. my little children, 8, 7 and 3, they, they don't want the flyover. They want the trees to stay. And uh, that shows the yeah. concern of uh, Bangalore. Padma, and follow. secondly, I want to know what is the social cost Mr. benefit Mr. analysis Mr. that has been Mr. done. Padma, hopefully the Supreme Court. Padma, Padma, thank you for calling us. And hopefully the Supreme Court, when the fight there reaches the Supreme Court, hears no your voice. Because displaced. citizens so far, citizens so far have not had a say. The government is pushing ahead in Karnataka. Hopefully... Democracy will win in the words of Rahul Gandhi when he says people don't want it, the government can't push ahead. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for joining us on debate number Absolutely. two. We will continue. So Vivek and so Kavita, nobody's buying what, what you're what saying. We will continue to track the story. Thank you for joining us on the news.